This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best all-in-one platform for any of your website building needs. Hey guys, it's Celestia, and I can't draw. I know that probably comes as no surprise to a very vocal minority of my comment section that's been saying that for years, so shout out to them. But contrary to those comments, the reason I can't draw isn't just because I'm a terrible artist. It's because I have blank canvas anxiety, and that's what we're going to talk about today. If you're not familiar with the term, blank canvas anxiety, or blank canvas syndrome as it's also sometimes called, is the overwhelming and sometimes paralyzing fear that many artists artists, myself included, face when starting a new piece. There are a multitude of causes for that fear, and in today's video, I'll go over the most common of those causes and hopefully offer some vaguely helpful advice to work through it. But before we get into all that, let me take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace, as regular viewers of the channel probably know by now, is an all-in-one website building and hosting platform that I've been using since long before I started working with them on my channel, primarily for my art studio website and my personal portfolio. They have even more templates than they did when I built those now, and I I'm actually working on a whole new design for my studio site now that I've seen them, because there are just so many good ones that there's pretty much no limit to what you can make with them. And it's not just the templates that are so impressive either, you can edit them using Fluid Engine, which is this really cool next generation website design system that lets you customize every single aspect of your site with a smooth, easy to use drag and drop system. Using it, you can pretty much do anything. Turn your site into an online store, create members only spaces to keep exclusive content behind a paywall, and so much more. It doesn't matter what you need your site to do whether you want a beautiful portfolio or a place to sell your art. You can make all of it on Squarespace. And you can get a free trial to test it out yourself right now by going to squarespace.com slash duchesscelestia, linked in the description, and use code duchesscelestia for 10% off your first domain purchase. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, and please go check them out. All that out of the way, let's get into the video. Blank canvas anxiety isn't something limited to traditional artists with a real tangible canvas in their hands. It's something that is seen throughout any and all creative fields. A blank canvas on Photoshop, a blank Word document, a blank notebook, hell, even a blank web design template. All of them spark apprehension and fear in the artists facing them because of what they represent. That blank canvas has the potential to be absolutely anything, and it's up to the artist to use that potential to bring their vision to life. And that's a lot of pressure, and there are a lot of reasons that that pressure can result in artists feeling like they just can't draw or create at all. For me, it's because I have too many ideas and too little time. Because of how heavy my workload is between YouTube, commissions, and my day job, I have almost no time to work on art that I actually actually want to make. So when I do finally have a free moment to work on a passion project, that blank canvas terrifies me. Do I work on my webcomic? Do I work on my art book? Do I draw flowers in my sketchbook? Do I work on my video game? Do I draw self-indulgent fan art? It doesn't feel exciting to start a new piece that isn't for work. It feels super stressful, because I feel like I have to weigh every idea against each other and be 100% sure that I picked the best one, the one I wanted to draw the most, the one that warrants my attention the most. Even when I'm drawing for fun, that blank canvas is the least fun thing there is. I know other people have the opposite problem, art block. They look at that canvas and suddenly they can't think of absolutely any ideas, be it because they're burnt out, because they don't have inspiration, or because the pressure of starting a new piece just made them blank out. Regardless of the reason, I think that we can all agree that both extremes suck, whether it's that you have too many ideas or none. But even when you've decided on an idea and you're ready to make that canvas less blank, a lot of artists are still anxious, because where do you begin? How do you start to bring that vision to life? What's the first step? I know for me, the rough sketch is my least favorite part of the drawing process. I hate turning that blank canvas into a rough thumbnail of what I want the piece to be, which is why I skip that step so often, to my own detriment. Because it's not going to look right the first time. It's going to need to be changed a million times, and it's never going to match up with the vision in my head of what I want it to be. It will eventually, or will at least come close, but the knowledge that it's going to be wrong before it's right is something that personally gives me a lot of anxiety, something that I've heard other artists express as well. It's something that I think is very closely linked to the inherent perfectionism that a lot of artists have. You look at that blank canvas, and you look at the vision you have for the piece in your head, and you feel like you have to perfectly recreate that vision on it. And it's hard not to feel a little apprehensive about that, especially when you logically know that it's pretty much impossible to make a perfect piece of art. Artists are always their own worst critics, and so many of us struggle with that impossible expectation we place on ourselves to make the perfect piece. And I can't speak for everyone, but at least for me, that expectation is most detrimental and overwhelming at the very beginning of the piece, when it's still that blank canvas. Because later on, when there are imperfections, you can fix them. When there's nothing to fix yet, there's pressure to not make anything that needs fixing in the first place. And that brings me to perhaps the biggest, most common cause of blank canvas anxiety, the fear of failing. Self-doubt is something almost every artist in the world is probably riddled with because, I mean, name an artist who's legitimately confident in every single one of their skills and is always 100% pleased with all of their finished pieces. I'm pretty sure that artist does not exist, like an artist unicorn. I don't think I've ever finished a piece and been able to look at it without seeing a hundred different flaws and mistakes, even on the off chance that 
I do actually like it, and I know a lot of artists feel the same. And when you're staring at that blank canvas with a beautiful vision of what you want to turn it into, it's hard not to wonder if you're good enough to do it, if you're gonna mess it up, if you should wait until you're better to start it. And for a lot of people, that doubt is enough to make them not start at all and just keep postponing it. A long time ago, before I was estranged for 90% of my family, my mom got me a poster of Deadpool signed by one of the comic artists that works on the Deadpool series for Christmas, because I'm a massive fan of the series, the artists, and the character. The poster was one of those I want you style formats with the blank to fill in, and in addition to signing it, the artist wrote in that section, I want you to draw me as a cute anime Deadpool page, a strata winged unicorn swinging katanas and beheading helpless fairies beneath me. Sweet. Naturally, I cried. I've got a poster from an artist I greatly admire telling me, in the voice of my favorite Marvel character, to draw a hilarious, fun, ambitious piece. Ever since I got that gift, my dream has been to draw it, meet him in person at a convention, and give it to him as thanks for motivating me to become a good enough artist to actually bring that prompt to life. That was many, many years ago, and every time I sit down to finally work on it, I freeze up, and I still can't do it. There's so much self-imposed pressure to make this piece perfect to fulfill this dream and give it to one of my artistic inspirations that the self-doubt and fear of failure has left that canvas blank for years. I still don't think I'm good enough to start, and I'm still waiting until I feel like I am, because blank canvas anxiety and self-doubt is completely demolishing me, and I can't be the only artist out here dealing with this. Fear of failure isn't just motivated by the desire to create the perfect piece, either. In the year 2023, when most artists draw, at least in some part, to post the finished art on their social media, the fear of failure can also be motivated by the fear of messing up the piece enough that they don't feel confident posting it. A lot of artists find a lot of validation in their work by sharing it online for other people to see, enjoy, and engage with, so it's not just pressure to turn the blank canvas into a perfect interpretation of their vision for the piece, it's also pressure to turn it into something that people online will like. If you feel like you can't post the finished piece, some artists feel like making it at all was a waste, which is only worsened by the fact that algorithms favor frequent, consistent posting, only furthering the idea that time spent on art that didn't turn out well enough to be posted was wasted. Your art, at least based on your own expectations, doesn't just have to please you, it has to please everyone who sees it online. So it's more than understandable that starting that piece would be stressful as hell. That much pressure is overwhelming, especially when you haven't even started yet. Finally, for traditional artists, there's also the fear of making mistakes that can't be erased or undone. A blank canvas is pristine, perfect, and 100% flawless. Every pencil mark or brush stroke you put on it has the potential to ruin that, at least in terms of the artist's own view on it. And it's incredibly difficult to force yourself to take that risk over and over again. It gets easier when you've already started and made some and accepted that those mistakes are inevitable, but when you're faced with the perfection of a blank canvas, you feel pressured to make sure that everything you add to it is just as perfect. It's the reason I've seen a lot of digital artists share for leaving traditional art behind in the first place. That anxiety was just so bad for them that the undo button digital art offers was integral in making the artistic process less stressful for them. It was definitely like 90% of the reason I switched to primarily digital art myself, although in recent years I have started pushing past that anxiety and letting myself enjoy traditional mediums again. So how do we as artists push past that anxiety? For me, a lot of it comes down to embracing mistakes and reminding myself that not only are mistakes an inevitability, they can all be fixed one way or another. That's obviously easier said than done, and it's something that you have to work at regularly, but it is worth working at. It helps a lot to look at the work of others, too, because if you look closely, a lot of amazing art that you absolutely love is probably full of mistakes, too, and it doesn't make you love it any less. Most artists hold their own work to higher standards than works of others, so if you mess up one line a tiny bit, you're gonna hate it so much that you redo it ten times. But if you look at another artist's piece that you love and see some messy, imperfect lines in areas, you're not gonna see the piece as worse because of them. You might not even see them as imperfections or mistakes, but rather just as features of the art that add to its appeal even if they may not be technically correct. Trying to look at others' work and hold your own to that standard in terms of your view on mistakes is, at least in my experience, massively helpful when it comes to overcoming blank canvas anxiety and actually enjoying the artistic process again. Setting realistic expectations, or at least more realistic expectations, for what the final piece should look like also helps. If you look at that blank canvas and tell yourself you need to turn it into something perfect, of course you're going to be anxious. If you look at it and tell yourself that you're going to do your best, and if you mess up, you'll fix it, you might be less afraid to finally get started. Have the expectation that you'll make something good, and be pleasantly surprised if you make something great. It's also helpful to break down your plans for the piece into smaller, less daunting steps. If you want to draw, for completely random hypothetical example, Deadpool on a winged unicorn swinging katanas and beheading fairies, it might feel so ridiculously overwhelming that you don't know where to start. But if you break that down into establishing the composition, making a rough sketch of where everything will be, then 
then sketching the unicorn, then Deadpool, then the fairies, and the sparkly pink blood that they'll inevitably be spewing, it'll feel more achievable and less overwhelmingly daunting and borderline impossible. If you know where to start, you'll be more compelled to convince yourself to. Finally, as more of a practical tip, I've had a much easier time with blank canvas anxiety since I started doing warm-up sketches before starting a new piece. Realistically, warm-up sketches should be done whenever you start a drawing, no matter where you are in the creative process of what you're working on. But I realize that not everyone has the time for that all the time. I mean, I, I certainly don't. But doing them specifically before starting a new piece, at least for me, helps loosen up your hand, build more confidence in your own skills, and overall just make you more comfortably on an artistic role. Overall, just be kind to yourself. Like all of this, that's easier said than done, but mistakes are an inevitable and even valuable part of the artistic process, and you have to make them to grow. Let yourself be imperfect, love your art for what it is as much as you can, and do your best to push through that anxiety and turn every blank canvas you have into something beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any tips for artists dealing with blank canvas anxiety or want to share your own experiences with it, please feel free to do so in the comments below. Special thank you as always to channel members Cafe Soleil, Joseph Solomon, TC Pratt, Haruki Kenway, Zelda Deverac 42, and Art of Amethyst Fable, as well as patrons Batman, Kyle Lowe, Blue Swanson, Cora Fear, Jamisha Walker, Elengshi, Kim Yen, Shamil Sheep, Crazy Asar, Gintong, Grayson Xavier, MG, Blah Mage, DC Pratt, Finn, Celine Merriman, Ash W, Inside Chaos, Eldritchia, The Stray Dog, Lura, Greg Noble, and Decagon for their support, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.